Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Y'all keep me in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers. Um, As you know, most of y'all know my mom has dementia. And, you know, we're dealing with that. And, you know, she's still with us. But, you know, as I talk with her and deal, you know, just observe her, you know, I don't know how long that's going to be. And so, um, you know, it's important that I ask y'all to, I don't want to be selfish about it. All her friends are gone. Everybody that she's associated with is gone and she hasn't suffered and she isn't suffering. So she's lived uh, a good life, uh, a, a life that God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. My mom never brought no men other than my father around me. So I don't have the story uh, like a lot of people where I was molested by my mother's lover and all that kind of stuff. But, and some people say, wow, that's something. But to be a parent, I learned is to have be, um, is to take, take supreme sacrifice. So if you don't want to go down this road, don't have no children. It, it does mean you can't bring other people around your children. Because they might do something to you, to them, um, and maybe using y'all relationship as a cover for him to get or her to get to your children, right? You have to thank God when you have a mother that knows what her responsibility and what her job is, and she would never bring nobody over her children like that. And I have that kind of mother. And I have and I had that kind of mother. And I truly thank God for that. I thank God that the only man that has been over us is our father. Okay? The only man that uh, took care of me. And every time, like I said, as a child, I touched the light switch and turned it on, the lights came on. And I think that's one of the most important things that I learned from my father and my mother. Is that you have to take care of your children. And they took care of us. They provided for us. And I have to thank God for that. Because nowadays you got people that think that that's a joke. They have kids and they have them scattered all over the place. And they don't think that they have any responsibility. To the children or the mothers of those children. That's not my story, and it's not every uh, story of every black person. There's always subcultures in a culture that behave a certain way. And to some in that culture, their behavior is unacceptable. It is unacceptable for a man in my father's eye to provide not for his family. He always would repeat that scripture. Um, the Bible said that a a man that provided not for his children is worse than the infidel who denied the faith. Something to that effect. So all of y'all Bible scholars out there, y'all, y'all know, y'all can tell me what it is. But in essence, he looked down on men that didn't take care of their children no matter what. And so I'm saying this to say a lot of y'all are in a generation and it's no fault of your own it's when you came y'all don't know the meaning of sacrifice you don't know the meaning of sticking with your family you don't know the meaning of the producing children and putting something in your children that's fertile and planting your seed in fertile ground not like a dog that's up on every fire hydrant raising up his leg and urinating 
and that's how your relationships and love affairs are. It's very important <laughs> that you recognize that a lot of us have been raised different. Okay? So when we start talking about things like voting, when we start talking about things that cause you to make a sacrifice for the good of the whole, and you think, what? It's about me, 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 me. But no, it's not. It's about us, us, us. And it's about the moment. It's the moment. In the moment. Got to really fight to stay in the moment. In the moment. So as I do this video right now, I don't know... Um, again, um, because now I'm I'm going to some uncertain territory, not only in my personal life, but in our prof our regular lives. And all I can do is say, Alhamdulillah. And that God is the greatest. Allahu Akbar. God is still the greatest, and he still sits on the throne. Right? Ain't that what they say? So, whatever is um about to face us, we have to be ready for it. And I think, I hope and, and appreciate those who will put their best foot forward and recognize the time that we're in right now. It's nation time. It really is. So, with that being said, that was my quick rant. I want to hear what y'all think. What you think about this moment? Leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, um, besides leaving your comments, don't forget to like. Share my video, y'all, because that helps with the algorithm. Help me, help me get to 10,000. All right, help me get to 10,000 subscribers. I don't think I ever asked that before, but I'm asking it now. Better days ahead. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.